What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Deadbolt. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. We light this fire, and we're going to talk to the flames for a little while longer to see where our next job comes from. Previous mission was a little rough. Previous mission was a little bit rough. What I do like about this game is that it's highly adaptive. Like, you come up with a strategy, but things happen along the way that force you to kind of just, like, improvise. And so it's kind of like half planning, half improvisation, which I think is something that Hotline Miami had going for it. And in another way, Party Hard had that going for it as well, where you can, like, try to murder people and stuff like that, but eventually something's going to go wrong, and you're not going to be able to stick to the plan any further. You just have to go for it. And at that point, you're going to be really, really tested, both your reaction speed, your accuracy, your dexterity, and just your intuition. Their location explained. Burn the ash, burn the dead, and free souls contained. My mission is to destroy all the ash, but it is best if I focus on killing the undead first. I don't know if, like, taking intel is giving me less stars. I had thought oh, we got another cassette tape, didn't we? I think we did. Let's go have a look. Only Ash helps. Ash brings, brings a bit of Jacob back to me. What happened to Jacob? I remember he died. He overdosed. My tongue feels heavy in my mouth. Talking is hard. Thinking is hard. Did Jacob pay rent? I shift the shotgun in my hand. Standing is hard. Roland. Roland says we shouldn't smoke the ash. He says that we need it. He says that we can leave soon. And I hear her scuttling. I fire my gun and splatter Jacob against the wall. Thought it was the Reaper. I'm sorry, Jacob. Thick smoke fills the room and Jacob's red and yellow and green corpse is gone. Where's Jacob? I want to be Jacob again. I don't know if I should add the hammer to my repertoire. Because the hammer stuns the big guys in a way that simply put... I, I don't think the knife does. The knife is just kind of... Not quite as good, although I think the knife is quieter. Like, it sounds like when you get somebody with the hammer, I think it lets them know that you're coming. We can also go with a mouse gun, although I don't know how helpful that's going to be. A flintlock shotgun, a blunderbuss. I'm like, yar, matey. And we can just take them out that way. I'm going to take the hammer real quick and we'll be on our way. Just so I got a little bit more adaptability based on whatever the job is that we're going to be doing. I'd like to have a few more tools ready. Destroy the warehouse where the zombie kings store their drugs. Oh, they got a vampire this time around. wonder what that means. You need more men protecting the ash. Oh, it looks like the vampires go down like anybody else. Oh, shit. Oh, he was on the ceiling right there? I totally didn't even see him. That's hella crazy. Okay, so apparently they hang upside down like bats. That's workable. I got death and taxes, and then give me my 32. I think we're going to need more. Oh, never mind. You can only carry one. Okay, that's fine. I knew that. I knew that from the start. He can fire from the roof. Okay, I thought he had to drop and then he could shoot. That's cool. We figured it out. That's all I needed to know. I'm going through the front door, by the way. We don't do this backdoor espionage bullshit. Wait right here. Don't worry. I just need to vent a little. That guy didn't fell off the roof, so I don't even know what's going on right there. He was like, well, falling off the roof right now. It's got to be super fun. Looks like I can drop in right here, but those girls have knives, and that's kind of scary. That guy's got a shotgun, which is also scary. Can I fall off the roof like they can? I don't think they fire at angles so well. I think firing at angles. Okay, I can fall off the roof. That's good. I gotta destroy all these caches though. And if I don't. Oh shit. Oh, he fired at me through the gunfire. 
Damn, son, he got that off quick. Okay, well, lesson learned, I guess. I thought that was going to be a better clear for us. Oh, did that go through the door? Ooh, okay. I, th I think these guys got big guns. Big, scary guns that go through doors. And I don't like that one bit at all. Stab that guy to death. That's the guy with the shotgun right there. Come down to investigate. If I can come down through here, luckily I got both of the dolls before anything else went wrong. So if I can time this right, I should be able to get him. Give me the hammer just in case I end up dealing with... Alright, pal. No, I aimed wrong. Oh, God. That was all me. Shit. Ugh, so upset with myself. Go ahead and put that away. We've killed everybody in the room. We jump up here. We give that one the knife. The exact same strategy as before. We got this cover. Actually, I can afford to throw the knife at him, and it won't even matter. So there, we'll take the hammer. I don't know if it's worth it. Well, I can get back up here. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know if I should go through the back or the front. Let's go through the back. He's down. He's down. I got no bullets left, but... Eh, one thing at a time. Come on. You and your bow tie are going to be mine. There we go. Got him. Nine millimeters taken care of. There should be a 10 around here somewhere. I thought, I'd, yeah, there it is. There's a 10 on the floor. So we'll grab the 10. We've got the hammers. We got to... That's cover. We burn this. We burn this. Lots and lots of guns back up in here. So if we need to retreat and run away, I think that's acceptable. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know how they want me to plan to solve that. That's a lot right there. That's a definite lot. Yeah, I didn't get that one done fast enough. It'll be okay. Alright, close the door, close the door. Oh, we got him that time right up front. Works for me. No, not inside. Not inside. That's the worst place to stop. On the plus side, we got this area all taken care of. So a couple more die. We take this. I have no clue what we're going to do with that room over there. That room over there is like super hardcore gnarly. I'm not really sure what I should try for. Can I throw a hammer at this guy? Oh, it's got like a curve to it. Okay. Not a lot of bullets left. Well, my hope was that that might lead him around a little bit, but eh. Whatever. Objectives accomplished. Setting off an alarm over here seems like an okay plan. Like it might work out for me. It does look like there's curvature on a lot of the shots though. I don't think with three I can get him. Yeah, I was going to say he's going to come out further. We might be hosed. I think we're hosed. Oh, he's going to stand guard? Okay. Yeah, I figured it wasn't going to work. Oh, well. We're all out of ammo anyways. I was like, you got to try something. Oh, 
I gotta figure out how I can grab that pistol before I come up here. I think it's costing me. Alright, so that's done. Whack him a couple of times. Hammer should keep us clear from that guy right there. Oh, he went upstairs. I'd rather have the hammer if we're going to be on the subject. There we go. Problem solved. With the 10 millimeter, what's our range looking like? Oh, it's so much better. There we go. Straight through his head. Straight through his head. Like a sniper with a big old chrome thang. You know, I think I'm okay with the alarm. Let's let let's see if we can give him like a false positive here and make him come running. Doesn't look like it's working, so I'll shut him up then. Oh, there's a vent right there. Oh, I like that. Okay, so where does the vent go though? Oh, it takes me in between the building. It's a little more workable. At least I'm not walking in a straight gunfire. Still sketchy as hell, though. That didn't turn either of them around, huh? Damn, son. How much can he soak to the face? Like, he just took like five rounds to the face. It was just like, eh, whatever. Once again, should have grabbed the gun before I left. It's okay, though. We've made this work before. We'll make it work again. Come on. There we go, perfect. That guy's gonna take cover, so we're gonna go back over this way. Never mind then. There's another hammer right there, so we can get another one. It's not even that big of a deal to lose it. Take the nine milli, take the hammer. Is that the shotgun guy from the next building over? Oh wow, okay. Yeah, it looks like headshots might not kill him. Headshots might not kill him. However, that door is now open. Which leads to like a whole new set of problems. Yeah, I could I pressed E, but he couldn't grab the gun at that range. You gotta be like on top of that shit. So that's good right there. Good lord, this game gets like this game gets rough really, really fast. Like the first couple levels are easy as shit, and then like the second you get here, it's just like, well, have fun in hell. And you're like, but I'm trying so hard right now. And they're like, we don't care. Trying doesn't count. This isn't kindergarten. Stop moving. Oh shit. Did I just bounce a knife off the wall and hit him? Or a hammer off the wall and hit him? That's fine by me as long as it gets him out of my hair. Like seriously, I don't care at all. Oop, don't want that though. Did that guy just fall off the roof? 
I think he fell off the roof to come get me. There, he's done. So what do we have going on over here? There, he's down. He's down. That should allow me to collect that pistol over there without too many problems. Oh, nope. There we go. Need you to go. Now on this side, the question becomes like, what do I even do with this? Like, this is a really, really stacked room. I don't think I want to use the 10 millimeter. I'll probably try and use something a little bit smaller and see if I can eke out a couple of hits here. I mean, last time it was just like an accuracy thing. There we go. That's what I needed was at least to get one of them. I know I don't want to be trapped on the left side of the building, though, because if they open that door, this becomes a death hallway with that eyeball right there. It can see you no matter how far you out or how far you are out. And so, like, you got to stay on this side, I think. Where'd the big dude go? Oh, he's up on the roof. So now would probably be a decent time to pull that shit off. I'm going to close that door, though. We don't have a lot of rounds left. Alright, cameras are out. That guy right there definitely has to go. All right, so mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Can we live with that now? Can we just say that mistakes were made and it's okay? I don't think that door's open, though. Ugh, gotta pick this one, too. Okay. All right, so the stage is cleared. Now I just got to decide if I want to get greedy or not. There we go. I hit him with a hammer, whatever. Sometimes it's the simplest solutions. Sometimes it's the simplest solutions. There, we're all good to go. Let's get the hell out of here. Wow, that was troublesome. These episodes, these episodes are getting gnarly. I can feel myself just sitting here being like, how do I clear this? I can feel the frustration. And it's not even like, I'm not even mad at the game because it's all polished and it runs fine. I'm so mad at my hands right now because I'm like, all right, do the thing. And then my hands are like, ah! And then they just drop the ball and screw it up. It's like, damn you hands, damn you. Oh man, I give us two stars on that one. He did not like our performance. That's fine, because I don't like your performance either. The flames roar to life, and I see blood inside. Attempting to lead his creed to salvation, a man with ambition cannot live with me. His death will shatter the zombie king's leadership. I must remember that the mission is to kill Roland, not the others. Roland's house is filled with many guards, but the only target is Roland. I'll separate him from his men. But what if I want all those delicious soul points? Oh, Roland's got the do-rag. Okay, he's rocking it. We got this thing. Whatever, first try. Watch this. I'm going to clear it first. Go. Go home to boss, Reaper. He's got gold chains. That's how you know he's balling. So where can I go with all this? Okay. And Roland's right there. So that would actually require me... Don't 
Doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter now. We are dug into this strategy. Ah, he got me right in my ass cheek. He got me right in my ass cheek. I actually think if I had been more mana efficient right there, it would have been achievable. Oh, you got to lead in with the sledgehammer. Jesus. Yep, you got to lead in big time with that thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. I have to have skills and shit. He's got a knife in his head. Oh, I might have gotten killed, but you got a knife embedded in the side of your head for the rest of your undead life, man. You'd be like, where'd you get that from? I was a punk-ass reaver throw a knife in the side of my head. It does look to me like, how come they're seeing me on that side, but not on the other side? The other side, I was able to sneak through perfectly fine. Oh, because the zombie faces are the other way. And I don't, I don't think they're spaced equally. Yeah, they're not. Hmm. I have no exit strategy. I just want to point that out. There, Roland's down. We got a cassette tape. Now we just got to get the shit out of the building. Oh, dude. Yeah, we ain't gonna make it. There's gotta be a way... Hmm. I don't know why knifing that guy was so noisy. Either way, I mean, we've got the strategy, so... Unless I do something stupid like that. Oh, out the back door! Out the back door! Ah! Apparently, I just rocked the zombie kings. In three minutes, I died five times in three minutes. Ooh! Perfect score. Does it matter that we did so bad on the last one? Because I aced that boss. We came in and they were like, mm, what you got in your hand? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Aces, aces, aces. Either way, my name is Splattercat. This game is called Deadbolt. I will see you all next time. Thank you for joining me for the next episode. This game is ridiculously fun and addicting. I'll see you later.